The News Sports Report is brought to you by Mosher and Son Construction, Bob's Merchandise on Nevada Avenue, Kirk Pierce Construction. Hello everybody, this is David Graham of your Sports Report. Only if it's local. Baseball, football, softball, basketball, and everything in between. On TV, radio, website, social media. We're everywhere. Elementary, middle, high school, whatever. Text me only at 423-912-2005. In high school basketball, Kemmer County High School versus Clinton from last Friday night. When you see the train coming, you better get off the tracks and the Lady Dragons didn't pay heed and wound up in a 78 to 44 train wreck. The big train, which won last Friday night, was then 21 and two, nine and oh in district play, the Lady Cougars, and they weren't slowing down for anything. Pick your poison, according to head coach Brad Honeycutt, as he has so many weapons at his disposal and it showed last Friday night against a good Clinton team. We dominated inside as Madison Brady was in no mood to give out any baskets to anyone who dared to invade her space. I know for a fact she had four block shot attempts while I was standing under the goal. She also scored a double-double last Friday night with 11 points. Leading the charge for the Lady Cougars train was Skylar Bozier with 24 big points. Haley Comer was huge outside with 18. The only time she didn't score was when she's on the bench and that was in the fourth quarter and that was when the subs were on the floor. Madison Brady had 11, Blair Medley, our homecoming queen, had 10, Rayleigh Snodgrass added five, Myra Sexton had four, Macy Mundy, Lexi Richardson, and Emily Ellison chipped in two each. Now in the boys game, we were up at the half playing great basketball and executing when we had the ball, but something happened in the locker room at the half. We came out like we were satisfied with a lead, but we forgot to play defense and especially rebound. Take away the third quarter and we win. Take away all the turnovers in the third quarter and we still win. It's that simple. We turned the ball over like throwing out candy in the Campbell County Christmas Parade. We got beat up on the boards in the second half. We went on to lose 77 to 68. Nate Walden led the way with 16. Jake Lane and Spencer Boshears had 14 each. Bryce Duncan had nine, Landon Addington had at eight, Seth Ward had three, John Allen Arnold, and Gavin Sexton chipped into each to round out the scoring. All right, let's fast forward to Monday night as the Blue Devils played host to Greenback. Our JV boys team lost Monday night to Greenback. Leading scorers were Chase Shelby with 13, Grayson Gerber and Kate Evans had nine each. Jordan King had four, Tegan Coleman finished up with two. In the girls' varsity game, D.J. Osborne was so frustrated at the fact his girls were getting ticky-tack fouls called on them, but the other team was practically riding our girls piggyback up and down the floor all night long, but they were not getting called. Needless to say, when the game's called that way, you're not going to win, and Our Lady Blue Devils didn't, leading Our Lady Blue Devils tonight. But surprisingly, and I'll tell you why here in a minute, Sarah Moses with 18, Candace Brandenburg had 7, Mackenzie Perkins had 3, Leona Douglas, Kayla Anderson, and Carmen Harris only had 2 each. But you know, Carmen was literally beat up all night long. And she's normally our leading scorer, but that's this night, she only had 2 points. Our boys hit the floor running tonight for Mike Reynolds and never looked back, winning 76-54. to Leading our Blue Devils was Bobby Zucchini with 23, Journey Ivy was right behind him with 18, Aaron Smith had 16, Jordan King added 8, Grayson Gerber had 7, Brian LeFew and Stephen Beard added 2 each to round out the scoring. Now Tuesday night our Cougars and Lady Cougars traveled to Halls. We're going to fast forward to Tuesday night and we are very happy to report that both teams won, not just one. This hasn't happened in a while, folks, in over a month, I know. 
And this is in from the WLF website, the very best website on this planet, I promise you. Jim Freeman and the gang up there, Jim Freeman especially, does an outstanding job of updating this website almost minute by minute. I mean, you can go on there and check out the news, the weather, obituaries, and you might even catch a David Graham Sports Report, who knows. But up first, Our Lady Cougars improved to 22-2, and 10-0 and in district play with a big 84-62 win over a tough Lady Red Devils team. And the boys secure only their second win of the season as they downed the Red Devils 70 to 59, and they are now 2 and 21, 1 and 9 in district play. But hey, you know what? Maybe we can get some good going as they have four more district games to play. So who knows? Maybe we can get on a roll here. Be a little better. On. Who knows? Okay, Friday. Everybody say Friday. Good. The Mavericks of Anderson County will invade Cougar Nation to play our Cougars this Friday night. And we need everyone within the sound of my voice to be up there to support our Cougars. And it all starts up at 4.30 with a JV girls game. Then they will have another homie Tuesday, January 29th, when they will host Central. And that will be senior night up there. Mosier and Son Construction, licensed and insured. No job too big or small for Mosier and Son, and I know you've probably heard that many times, but it's true. They will do the job right the first time, because Jeff is picky, very picky. Just ask his customer, they'll tell you. Call Jeff. Call today before the bad weather hits at 423-494-8133 for any home improvement you may have to have done. Call Jeff. Buying online versus buying in person. When buying online, you're not sure. You're frustrated and forget about a quick refund. Why go through all that when you can go in, browse and find exactly what you want at Bob's Merchandise on Nevada Avenue. Tell them, William. If you're gonna buy an instrument, you wanna see how it feels and how it sounds like in your hands or if it's heavy or not, and just how much you like it because online you can't see every little bit of it and you can't hear it either. That's Bob's Merchandise, 128 Nevada Avenue, here in La Follette, 423-566-1031. There's a name that is rapidly becoming a name you can trust. Kirk Pierce Construction is becoming a company that shows up on time, finishes the job on time, and just the way you want it. Whatever your home improvement project, call on Kirk Pierce Construction today making your vision come true. That's exactly what we do at Kirk Pierce Construction. Call today, 423-912-4280 or 423-907-2439. From start to finish, J&J Cabinets and Trim complete the job, whether it's in the kitchen, living room, or wherever it may be. Call Joshua at 423-437-1776 or Jason at 423-871-1447 and let them come out and give you a fair and honest estimate of how little the job will cost to beautify your home and improve its value. So, call J&J today. You'll be so glad you did. In other middle school basketball news, you know, the, as you may or may not know, the smaller schools such as Wynn, White Oak, Jellicoe, and Elk Valley are already in tournament play. We're happy to report that the Elks of Elk Valley won Thursday night over Birchfield 62-54. Get this. Hayden Lou Allen scored a whopping 53 points to lead his Elks onto the next round, which will be at Jellicoe High School, Tuesday, January 22nd at 545. That's when they tip off. And the sports report will be there to cover all the action, but you need to know this. We only cover our area teams, and we don't cover any other games outside our county. So, if you're up at Jellicoe High School and you don't see me taking pictures, you might see me over there eating a Snickers bar and a drinking a Pepsi or something, you'll know that game going on, that's not our local teams going at it. So, I'm just saying. In middle school area two in Jellicoe, it all started up this past Tuesday night uh, up there at Jellicoe, and we were only there for one game. Number two seed Elk Valley lost, we're sad to report, Tuesday night to number three seeded Huntsville, 59 to 54. Get this, Hayden Llewellyn 
had 48 points for the Elks. Tyler Moore had the, added the other six points, and that was it for the Elks. The loss puts the Elks in the consolation game. That's the third place game this Thursday at 545 up at Jellicoe High School. Huntsville will advance to play number one seed on NIDA, who was pretty much having their way against Fairview in the night cap. We didn't stay, so it looks like Oneida will play Huntsville at 8.15 in the championship game. I'll, I'll have all the lists here in just a minute. You're watching David Graham Sports Report. Perfect. You're watching David Graham Sports Report. All right. Now, on the girls' side, we were going to go home after the Elk Valley game, but some good friends of mine, Christy Russ and Braylon Russ, who we've known for a long time, showed up, so David took some pictures of that game for our Facebook page so that they could see him. Number one seed Huntsville defeated number four seed Fairview, 38-24, to advance to the championship game on Thursday. Now, we want to tell you, too, anytime, anytime you see me at a game, just know this. Those pictures are going to be on Facebook. So look up David, the letter N, Sharon Graham on Facebook and copy all the pictures you want. And I do that for coaches, family members, and players. Now here's what's on tap for Thursday up at Jellico. At 4.30 will be the girls' consolation game. At 5.45, Elk Valley will take on Fairview in the boys' consolation game. And then at 7 o'clock, it's the girls' championship game. And then at 8.45, the boys' championship game. The top three finishers will advance to the sectionals. So two teams out of all these teams won't. We're also happy to report that our Lady Eagles uh, won their consolation game out in Kodak. But the Eagles boys' team lost in the championship game. But hey, they both will advance to Sevierville. Now the girls will play Saturday. And we're assuming the boys will play Saturday as well. But you might want to check with the coaches. You might want to check with Jacksonville Middle School to find out for sure. But I will to tell you, you're probably saying, well, David, why haven't you been there? We weren't able to go cover our kids. as We've been getting really dizzy here lately. And uh, we've had to stay close to home. This is Sharon's orders. And now she's got my doctor involved. So it's her, her orders as well. But we do wish both Lady Eagles and Eagles all the best. And bring back some hardware, baby. Cody Parker and Amanda and Travis Thompson are phenomenal coaches. They've done a phenomenal job with these young men and women, and we are very proud of both of these teams and what they've accomplished, and we wish them nothing but, uh, but the best. From start to finish, J&J Cabinets and Trim complete the job. Whether it's in the kitchen, living room, or wherever it may be, Call Joshua at 423-437-1776 or Jason at 423-871-1447 and let them come out and give you a fair and honest estimate of how little the job will cost to beautify your home and improve its value. So, call J&J today. You'll be so glad you did. There's a name that is rapidly becoming a name you can trust. Kirk Pierce Construction is becoming a company that shows up on time, finishes the job on time, and just the way you want it. Whatever your home improvement project, call on Kirk Pierce Construction today. Making your vision come true. That's exactly what we do at Kirk Pierce Construction. Call today, 423-912-4280 or 423-907-2439. Buying online versus buying in person. When buying online, you're not sure. You're frustrated and forget about a quick refund. Why go through all that when you can go in, browse and find exactly what you want at Bob's Merchandise on Nevada Avenue. Tell them, William. If you're gonna buy an instrument, you wanna see how it feels and how it sounds like in your hands or if it's heavy or not, and just how much you like it because online you can't see every little bit of it and you can't hear it either. That's Bob's Merchandise, 128 Nevada Avenue, here in La Follette, 423-566-1031. All right, in other sports, we got this from the WLF website. Cougar baseball coach Chris Mays announces that middle school baseball tryouts are set for Friday, February 1st. You need to write this down. 
They will begin at 4 p.m. Friday, February the 1st at Brown Archer Field. Players must bring shoes, bats, hat, helmet, gloves, and any other baseball gear they think they might need. So remember that, Friday, February the 1st at 4 p.m. up on the high school baseball field. Get up there. Also, high school baseball is right around the corner, and we are proud to report that old Diamond Dave will be back behind the mic to bring you a lot of Cougar baseball games, along with our new broadcast partner, Mike Catfish Miller. And we may also broadcast some Lady Cougar softball as well. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Just keep it right here, and we'll keep you updated. Camera County Youth Soccer League signups, spring signups, that is. And here's what the poster says. Campbell County Youth Soccer 2019 Spring Season Sign-Ups. It's going to be Saturday, January 26th at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And Friday, February the 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. Saturday, again, February the 2nd from 9 to 12. Friday, February the 8th from 6 to 8. And then Saturday, February the 9th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon at the La Follette Community Center at 300 West Beach Street in La Follette. It's going to be $50 per child, and the fee includes complete uniform. And it's for ages 3 all the way up to 14. So if you have a little one who's 3 years old or 14 years old, and they want to play soccer, get them up there. And here's what you got to bring when you come. Please bring a copy of birth certificate at sign-ups. All games will be played on Saturdays according to your coach or what day you will practice on. It's all up to the coach. All players must have application filled out, so please plan to make one of the sign-up dates. No sign-ups will be available through our Facebook page, so remember that. And if you've got any questions, you can either text or call Mike. Write this number down. Get ready. Are you ready? 423-912-2178. And their Facebook page is Camel County Youth Soccer. So uh, there's all the information you need. Go check it out, okay? Okay. And there's still no word yet on a new head football coach at Jacksboro Middle School. You know, we're hearing a lot of rumors, but we ain't saying nothing yet. And when, uh, when they tell us, we'll tell you. Mosier and Son Construction, licensed and insured. No job too big or small for Mosier and Son, and I know you've probably heard that many times, but it's true. They will do the job right the first time, because Jeff is picky, very picky. Just ask his customer, they'll tell you. Call Jeff. Call today before the bad weather hits at 423-494-8133 for any home improvement you may have to have done. Call Jeff. Buying online versus buying in person. When buying online, you're not sure. You're frustrated and forget about a quick refund. Why go through all that when you can go in, browse and find exactly what you want at Bob's Merchandise on Nevada Avenue. Tell them, William. If you're gonna buy an instrument, you wanna see how it feels and how it sounds like in your hands or if it's heavy or not, and just how much you like it because online you can't see every little bit of it and you can't hear it either. That's Bob's Merchandise, 128 Nevada Avenue, here in La Follette, 423-566-1031. From start to finish, J&J Cabinets and Trim complete the job. Whether it's in the kitchen, living room, or wherever it may be, call Joshua at 423-437-1776 or Jason at 423-871-1447 and let them come out and give you a fair and honest estimate of how little the job will cost to beautify your home and improve its value. So, call J&J &J today. You'll be so glad you did. There's a name that is rapidly becoming a name you can trust. Kirk Pierce Construction is becoming a company that shows up on time, finishes the job on time, and just the way you want it. Whatever your home improvement project, call on Kirk Pierce Construction today. Making your vision come true. That's exactly what we do at Kirk Pierce Construction. Call today, 423-912-4280 or 423-907-2439. Hello everybody, this is David Graham with your sports report. 
only if it's local. Baseball, football, softball, basketball, and everything in between. On TV, radio, website, social media, we're everywhere. Elementary, middle, high school, whatever. Text me only at 423-912-2005. Hi there. How are you? Well, you know what? Let's just talk a minute. So, have you ever seen David Graham's sports report? Say yes, David. <laughs> okay, let's just practice one time. Here, what I want you to do, is I want you to say real loud, you're watching... David Graham's Sports Report. Don't look at me. You're watching. You're watching. Loud, baby, loud. Say it loud. You're watching. David Graham's Sports Report. Sports Report. We're rolling. You're watching David Graham's Sports Report. In Cabell County Youth Basketball Association, we went to West Follett this past Saturday. We caught some five and six year old action and a couple of nine and 10 year old games, but again, we got dizzy and we had to leave. I'm telling you, I don't know what this is I've got, but if you if you believe in prayer, pray for me, please. Because <laughs> I love to go cover all these kids and it's pretty bad when you don't feel good. But uh, we try our very best and please pray for me that I'm able to go out and promote your area kids but what I saw was some good competition and we enjoyed the games very much go over and check out the action for yourself they start every Saturday at 9 o'clock and they go all day long and they have a few games at East Lafollette as well so and they too start at 9 o'clock the 2019 Jellicoe Youth Basketball League will start up this Saturday at 8 a.m. and go all the way to 8 p.m. they play so long and they start so early because they only have one gym in which to play 32 teams ranging in ages from 2 to 14 will go at it and we'll be there to cover some of it as long as we're able and we'll check it all out and we'll bring you back a full report. This is a proving ground of sorts just like the Camel County Youth Basketball Association. Kids can play and see if they're going to like basketball or not. Who knows? They may be a couple of district players in there once they get into high school so you know don't count these little guys out. But anyway, we'll bring you back a full report, and we'll have that on next week's show. All right, we want to thank you guys for being with us. We want you to uh, go out and see our sponsors. Please, please go see our sponsors. Kirk Pierce Construction. Jeff Mosier and Son Construction. Bob's Merchandise up on Nevada Avenue. And J&J &J Cabinets and Trim. And we'll see you back in here, good Lord willing, next week. You have a blessed week, and we'll hopefully see you next week. Bye-bye.